So, the new iPhone 12 is out. If you're like me and you're trying to decide between the iPhone 12, the 12 mini, the 12 Pro, or the iPhone 12 Pro Max, then stick around. We've got a bit to talk about. So, unless you've been living in the Amazonian rainforest without any cell phone coverage for the last few days, you should know by now that Apple have announced the release of the iPhone 12. So are you on the fence on whether to get one or not? Or are you like me and decided that you're definitely going to get one, but not sure which model? I think I've decided, but let's run through the pros and cons. I'm not going to do an in-depth review of all the features of the new phones, just the features that are helping me make up my mind. Now, I've currently got an iPhone 11 and I really love it. The battery life is amazing, super fast performance, the sound and speakers are great. Uh, actually, I really love the iPhone 11. The one thing I'm not super stoked about is the size. It's just a bit big in your hand and it is quite heavy. And I pre-ordered it online when they first came out, so I didn't have the chance to sort of like touch and feel one in store before I got it. Not that I'm unhappy with it, it's a fantastic phone and I do love it, but it is a bit big and I do like a smaller phone. Now when it comes to the iPhone 12, I was very excited to hear about the mini option. I'm also very excited that it's got all of the features of the normal iPhone 12. Normally with that sort of thing, you'd expect them to take something out, but it's exactly the same other than the size. Now looking at the measurements online, it does look a bit smaller than the iPhone 8, just to sort of put it in context, so that sounds good, but maybe it's a bit small? And the other thing is the iPhone 12 is slightly smaller than the current iPhone 11, both in width and depth, but it's also thinner and lighter. So given it's smaller than the iPhone 11, but not super small, maybe it's hitting a bit of a sweet spot. But as for features, because it's exactly the same dimensions as the iPhone 12 Pro, so maybe I could go Pro. See what I did there. Now, the 12 Pro Max is way too big for me, so I'm ruling that out. So it's really down between the 12 and the 12 Pro, maybe the 12 Mini. I get the feeling the Mini's probably too small. So let's say, given the 12 is smaller than the 11 and thinner and lighter, it's probably the one to go for. So it's probably between the 12 and the 12 Pro. Now the difference between those two is mainly um, additional camera lens. They've got a telephoto in the Pro. They've got a LiDAR scanner. It's got flashy stainless steel border. It actually looks really good. Now they don't have a telephoto on the iPhone 11 and I've been pretty happy with the photo and video performance from the 11. I do use the extra wide lens and I probably use that more than I would a telephoto. And while LiDAR is meant to help focus in low light from a photo and a video perspective and also used for 3D rendering and augmented reality applications and things like that, I don't really think I'd use it for those types of things. The other thing is I want to get a 256 gigabyte model. I've got 128 in the iPhone 11 and it's been fine, but it is not that far from being full and I do curate my photos and videos pretty often. So a lot of the memory of these phones does get taken up with the base applications and other things that you might add. So I want to get a 256 gigabyte model, but if I did that in the Pro, it does add another few hundred dollars here in New Zealand for what is already a pretty pricey piece of kit. Um, we're getting up over $2,000 New Zealand, so we're getting close to $2,300, $2,500 if you add in the Apple Care as well, which based on experience, I would recommend. I'm not going to say anything more. So with the Pro. Uh, yes, there are additional things you can do with photos and videos, given they've added the telephoto lens. They've also added Apple RAW to the Pro models, so you can really get into the nitty gritty with your photos and import them into uh, photo editing software like uh, Luminar 4 and Lightroom. Um, but to be fair, I'm really happy with the images and the video that I get from the iPhone 11, and they've already improved it for the 12. So the aperture on the wide lens is now 1.6 versus 1.8 on the iPhone 11. They've got night mode across all lenses now, um, so it's on the extra wide and the front facing lens. And many of the other features are the same across all of the iPhone 
12. So you get the ceramic shield, you know, extra hard glass, uh, the Super Retina XDR display on the 12, which is great. So last year that was only available on the Pro models, but now they've made it across all of the models. Um, MagSafe is across all models. The water resistance has improved and it's the same across all models. So the big differences for me are on the camera. And with the improvements I'm already seeing from the 11 to the 12, they're probably good enough for me. And all the other upgrades are pretty common across all the models. So where am I landing? Well, I like the idea of the Mini and it has all the features of the 12, but I think it might be a bit small. We've talked about the features of the 12 versus the 12 Pro and the big differences there are not the sort of things that mean that much to me. So I'm gonna go with the iPhone 12, but in a 256 gigabyte model, because I think it's probably a two to three year phone for me. I have swapped them out in recent years with new models that have come along, but I think this one I might be hanging on to for a good few years. So what do you think of my reasoning? Let me know in the comments below. Try and talk me around. I've got 10 hours before I'm going online and pre-ordering it. So you've got that long to convince me. So what are you going to do? You're gonna get an iPhone 12 and which model and why? Tell me in the comments below. Now, if you're also trying to make a similar decision, but regarding the new GoPro Hero 9 Black versus the potential Osmo Action 2 camera, check out this video. Cheers, guys, and we'll catch you later.